Can't find love? Hmm. That day is over. With Just Date Numbers, we can reveal all your secrets to sex and love. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. Find out the secret to your heart at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello heroes, welcome now to Tuesday and thank you for logging in. Sunny and childlike today for the Aries, for the Rams. The moon has now moved into Leo, where today it is conjuncting Venus. That's a good thing. Let's start with the moon just in general. The moon in Leo means that your heart or your emotions are centered around your heart chakra. This is the part of you that wants to be in joy, right? Enjoyment of life. So this is the playful side of you. This is your inner child. This is your creative side. The child that just plays with Legos for hours and hours. Or the child that comes up with all these imaginary games with your dolls, okay? And this is a part of our soul. This is the part of our soul that is endowed with what we really want to do, with what our heart is really behind. So for starters, pay attention to how your heart feels today. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Are you on the topic of wanting to play? Are you feeling bitter? Is your inner child upset? All right. Secondly, Venus. The moon crossing Venus makes you emotionally very creative. It means that everyone on the planet wants to be in joy, wants to be in love. In fact, being in love is a huge one. You might find yourself having a huge crush on someone today, or if you already have a crush, you might be really feeling it today. Either way, Venus entering this space now means that for the next five weeks or so, you'll be planting the seeds to a new inner child creation. Okay, so whatever you do today, whatever you feel today is the beginning of it. So if you're starting to really get a crush on someone today, for instance, you might be planting the seeds to a hot romance around the corner. Or your current romance may go through a rejuvenation today where you're just kind of like, wow, I really love him. I really love her. Right? And when the sun enters into Leo in about 45 days, this will be the actual completion or manifestation of these seeds. So you're planting important seeds to joy today. Zip into the sun. We're in chapter three of Sun in Gemini. Venus is also the ruling planet of the day, so it's really a love vibration on the planet. And in that capacity, you also want to create your mantra for the year. Okay? What is your mantra this year? All right? Life is good. I'm a success. Nothing can stop me. There's a mantra. You want to kind of boil it down to one mantra, to one attitude is basically what you're constructing. And today's the day to write that. So today, your only soul work is to write what that mantra is. For those of you who are writers or authors and that sort of thing, this is a great day to come up with your book or come up with your message, your overall message or your overall tone of your book. And for those of you who have an Aries rising, all this also applies. But for those with Aries risings, it's a bit more subtle. It may be that you're ending a very long attitude in your life and beginning a very good new one. It may be that you're starting a new project as a writer, but it's more subtle. Remember, your rising sign is your subtle story, what's happening in your multi-lifetime story or over the course of your whole life, and your sun sign is what's happening this month. All right, Rams, that's all I have for Tuesday. Tomorrow, Mars is showing some breakdown. Until then, live, love, be. So